Until relatively recently, most academic research has been published behind a paywall. That is, you have to pay to access it by subscribing to a journal, buying a book, or paying an access fee. This model made sense in a world where research was printed and disseminated by mail, a costly process. But with the internet, suddenly sharing information is much cheaper and easier. Despite this new, free platform, many academic publishers still apply paywalls, which restrict the reach of research. In response, a movement has arisen to push for open access publishing. Open access means a piece of work is published digitally, online, and is free to read, reuse, and share. Open access can refer to pretty much any type of academic work. For example, journal articles, conference papers, and monographs, or other books. Overall, funders, institutions, and even most publishers are moving toward an open access model. That's because there are a lot of benefits. First, your research will be more visible if you publish open access, allowing more citations, more downloads, and more attention from a wider range of readers. If you publish behind a paywall, you cut off access to many of those you may want to read your work, including a fair proportion of other researchers and probably even your funder. Second, it allows your work to have more impact. If you publish open access, this can benefit society in a whole range of ways. Policymakers can use it to inform better laws. Businesses can use it to make better products. Charities can use it to help people in need. And practitioners can use it to improve services they offer. So, how do you actually do it? There are several different ways to make your work open access, and the most common routes are referred to by color. Under the diamond route, the publisher makes the work freely available online. The gold route is similar, except the publishers charge the authors a fee. Under the green route, the publisher doesn't make the work open, but the researcher does by posting their own copy of the final accepted work openly in an online repository elsewhere. Many funders and institutions now require researchers to publish their work open access, and may have their own rules as to which routes they allow or require. The nitty-gritty details can be confusing, but your institution's librarians can usually help you. They are a great resource. All in all, publishing open access is truly valuable and is often mandated by funders and institutions. So it's worth making that bit of extra effort. To learn more, check out our UKRN Primer on open access.